Hi, I'm Bryce Stewart. I'm a student here at the School of Sustainable Design and Engineering. I'm going to give you a tour of our new building. So this is our additive manufacturing lab. Here students can prototype with the designs that they make from first to fourth year. So there are different types of 3D printers. Um, two are seen here. The students usually don't work on these by themselves, but uh, they work with the technicians in order to get the job done. Right next, I'm gonna show you the project clinic bays that we have. In fourth year, we have um, several project bays which students can use to develop their designs. In this project bay right here, we have one of our students in their senior design clinics. Uh, he's working with one of the local industry partners. And students can work here all day, all night, if they like. They can lock up afterwards, and that way everything is secure and safe within their personal bay. This building also has three of the fundamental labs that are needed in any engineering program. Uh, this includes this electronics lab that we have here, a materials and, ma and machines lab, as well as a fluids lab. So within this, the first two months of the program, um, the students in first and second year are allowed to begin their prototyping building phase. Um, this will be carried out in the assembly lab here. Here are some of the projects that the first year has been focused on this year. The sustainability project to make a chair. Right behind me right now is the learning stairs. Um, students have a place to sit and study. All right, so here up top we have our lounge. So the student lounge allows students to relax. So behind me here we have our green roof. Our green roof will work with focus areas of bioresource as well as renewable energy. All right, so this is the learning commons for the students. Um, so we, this is an open area where students can sit down uh, and do their work. We have a uh, kitchen back here, a kitchenette, uh, that students can store their food in, their lunches for the day, and um, a coffee maker. So this is our, one of our two large design studios, which emphasize the design course of the program. In here, in the design studio, uh, we have tables with a screen for each team. So you notice that all the walls are whiteboards. Uh, this is because us students, as soon as we get an idea, it's best to get it down right away. Our facility also has two shower rooms within the building. Uh, this is in case you get dirty while you're working, or if you want to bike to school, you can have a shower whenever you get here. So we're here in our industrial area of research. So this is specifically for renewable energy. Uh, we're in a spectating area so we can look over to see how the projects are coming. So this is, this is the renewable energy industrial area. There are two others specifically for bioresource and mechatronics. Um, there's also robotics lab which we have on the other side. So on the third floor we have office space, ideation rooms and additional green space on the roof. Let's go check it out. All right, so we, here on the third floor, we have our office space for our faculty and professors. So this is what's behind me right now. Uh, if we look over here, we have a student in the ideation room. Here at UPEI, we use this ideation space offices for the students. Uh, we act as junior engineers with the professors acting as professional engineers. We use these ideation spaces to develop the projects and uh, gain professional skills. So here in the building, there's also the physics department. Uh, they have office space, research space, as well as lab areas. Uh, it's always good to have the physics student with us. All right, so that's a quick tour of our building for the School of Sustainable Design Engineering. We as the students are really excited for the opportunities that this space provides us with hands-on experience and industry partnerships. Uh, we're very excited to be here, and we look forward to being here in the future. Thank you.